10 o'clock on the dock Leave your phone and leave your notes All you need is a set of writing tools Let Rocket Girl is a story of two girls who have a crush on each other at space camp but get separated by forces beyond their control. Cheryl spends her days producing a podcast about the space industry. While Amy became the astronaut they have both wanted to be. I've done all that I can I've prepared for this all of my life As she enters, Amy is recording a message for ground control. She's going offline to take a few days vacation. She wants to enjoy the views of Mars before she deorbits and sets out for home. Time of liberty, of eternity, and equality as we conquer the the show flashes back to the final maths exam at the Space Center. Here, we find why these two young women had been so close, but ended up so far apart. To appear like a plant, shall we three meet again? Seems so underhand to make... At the graduation ceremony, the show introduces Coog, the billionaire tech entrepreneur who drives the Mars project. Koo exerts a powerful presence over the girls' lives and influences every aspect of their story. It's a choice I never meant to make. This is everything that I despise. Rocket Girl is a medium to large production with up to 15 on stage and 4 in the band. It uses some video screens and flying effects. The show will have feel of a staged gig. Budget wise, Rocket Girl will fall into the same area as a larger panto, but without the seasonal implications. It tears in my heart to see our last goodbye. Rocket Girl. Rocket Girl is upbeat and joyful. It is spectacular without resorting to camp or pastiche. The show is contemporary but doesn't dwell on current cultural or political themes. Space industry folks would have everyone believe that this story is about to happen in real time. Explore to the stars. Fantasy without gravity. On the long flight tomorrow.